What's up, everybody? It's Marcelo from The Promised Land. I've been meaning to make a lot of things, a lot of videos for a while now. i got a lot on my plate, and I'm going to definitely get to a lot of different topics and things. But while I have some extra time, what I want to do is I want to address something that's going to increase your ability to organize your life and also increase your productivity. And this is, a, of course, free. I wouldn't advocate anything that wasn't free. And it's a, an Android app, specifically, by the name of Color Note. I'm going to go over the finer details. I'm going to show you how it works. And it's pretty cool, so check it out. This is something that's been out for a few years now, but I only started using it maybe eight months ago, and I found it not only extremely helpful, but a novel way of cutting down on my paper clutter. So anyone out there watching this that's interested in reducing their carbon footprint, which I actually am as well, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm joking about it, but uh, sustainability is a real concern of mine. And we're going to click on the magnifying glass. And laggy connection. Shebang. Color note. Of course, it's free. Free, free, free. If it's free, it's for me. I love that price. And you can do this right from your phone. You don't really need to waste time with this. I'm just showing this because I want to test out a screen capture program that I downloaded. But you would anyway, install. And then from there, what does it do? There's a whole bunch of features on this app. I'm going to try and give you a quick overview. You click here to create a new note. You can select between a text note or a checklist. You can color code your note to whatever you want in whatever way you feel is applicable to the note or checklist you're creating and it just makes it easier to find and keep in order later on in the archive. Okay, so Floyd, no, that's not what I meant to put. Back that up. Floss your teeth. Yo breath stank. Really stank. So you just hit back and it automatically saves. And then you can go through a list of options. For example, set a reminder. You can remind yourself every day, every 15 minutes, whatever you'd like to do. In this case, I'm going to do every day. So you would select no date. And then it's just going to remind you every day around the time you created the note. So then your reminder is set. Now in this case I do floss, but for example, I created this note. So I'm just going to back up. So now you highlight it, you hold it, and it's going to give you your menu. You can archive it, delete it, check it, set your reminder, which we've already done. You can lock it. And now each note that you create, you can password protect. I don't use this because my phone is just password protected, but if you want to do it, you can do it. So I'm not going to need this because my oral hygiene is pretty fucking good, so do you want to delete this? Yep, I sure do. I floss and brush twice a day. Here's a some other stuff, a few other notes that, uh, my daily notes that keep me in check and my daily life in tune. Just press these when you want to check off things on your checklist. I have my supplements reminder in order to optimize my health. And I made a mail reminder because I like to snatch my mail out of the box before the kids in my seedy neighborhood fuck with it. Here we have another menu. Again, color, sort. 
You can change the view if you'd like. Add note. You can SD card backup. Or you can go into settings. And if you wanted to, you can actually online sync. So you can sync it to the cloud. I think to your Gmail. Something like that. I don't use that. So, so here's some more stuff here that I actually I don't use <laughs> but um, it's easy to look at all these options and feel somewhat overwhelmed and think yeah you know it's not for me but uh, I don't use half of this and it's not overwhelming at all it's pretty straightforward I like it and uh, I definitely encourage others to try it because it's you may discover something in there that I don't use that you may use and, and uh, get a lot of utility out of So here's another menu. You can uh, set notes to a calendar, archived. A lot of these um, options are just repeat options. They take you to the same place, but there's just the uh, they're set into different menus. I'm not really sure why the uh, the user interface is designed that way, but hey, whatever. So I heard there was also an iPhone version of this, and I decided to investigate. Even though I am not an iPhone user just for the sake of it, but it costs money, which is lame, and apparently it's inferior to, to the Android version judging by the reviews that I've read here.